Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorgat. Sorgatron on the Twitter here on this Monday evening as we all are gathered here today to have opinions about professional wrestling. To start off your week, maybe you watch some really good indie wrestling this weekend like many of us have on this show. Two-thirds of us have on this show. And you're really hot off of that. And plus, you got tonight's Raw. And maybe that leveled you down a little so you can, like, be okay for the work week, right? So you're not just, like, you know, a house of fire the whole week and just, like, yelling at people and starting chants in the break room or whatever the case may be. But this is your Raw wrap-up. I have with me, it is the crew. It is Mad Mike from the Poughkeepsie, from the Poughkeep, the Poughkeep. Wait, wait, how do you say that? The Poughkeep. How do you short? What, what is the affectionate short term for Poughkeepsie, New York? Uh, Poughkeepsie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Native American. There's no short term for you, anything. You don't, you don't do anything. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Mad Mike, the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. By the way, uh, spoiler alert for this episode of the Raw Wrap Up. I'm just going to be saying Becky Lynch is God 18,000 times. All right. There you go. A little preview. Also, back with us is, is this your second consecutive week watching Raw? Uh, this is my second consecutive week of uh, second consecutive week watching parts of Raw. Ah, yes. So, okay, so baby steps, it. baby steps. I missed the entire first hour because I decided I was going to do something more interesting with my time and go watch a movie. I wish Jordan, I did the same. Spoiler alert: You missed nothing. Yes, yes, and yes, and probably saw more action in Girl with the Spider in, in the Spider Web or whatever. I, I forget all the words to that one. Uh, <laughs> It's a long title, okay? But like Poughkeepsie. Larry with the hat. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt, don't spoil things. Sorg, do not read the chat room. Oh. <laughs> not read the chat room. I, yes, I am still not caught up on Lucha. I'm working on. I am working through it though. And I, I am seeing. I mean, I got see things. I know things are happening. Tina, Tina, but it's different. What you missed tonight? Becky Lynch is God. That is it. That is it. Okay, let's talk about that. So Becky one, Lynch is God. This is the first Monday Night Raw. Uh, the news came out last week. Uh, I know it was shared in our group that um, that 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 the overrun is over, guys. It's over. It's over. No more longest Raws ever by 15 minutes. It's um, so two yeah, two minutes. Yeah, two minutes is okay. Let's not let's not get it twisted. And the overrun was still preview for Country Strong or whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> and this still feels like they rushed it at the end. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot happening in that last 10 minutes, which is good, actually. And it, it's not like, oh, is it happening? I, oh, you, you know, where, wait, or where are we? When does this end? I don't know what's happening. Why are we just staying in the ring at a quarter after 11? I, I, don't, I need to go to bed. Uh, you, know, the, you know, all those questions that go through your head during something like this. But anyways, yeah, so we had a ladies match, which is kind of nice. Like, oh, cool. Now that the women's evolution is over, we're going to have this main event raw. Uh, but then it turned into a bunch of other stuff. Confusion, misdirection, and then uh, running cameras into the locker rooms, and then super invasion, and then Becky Lynch's face exploding, which makes her even more awesome. Um, uh, someone posted a tweet that said, my new sexual preference is bloody oh. Becky Lynch, and I can't disagree. Wait, wait, you, you, you know, I, you cut out for a moment, but I think we're just going to let that go. No, he didn't I, cut okay. out for a no, minute. No, you I, heard that right. What I'm saying is she looked somehow hotter with, like, the busted up nose. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and also looked more badass than Ronda oh, effing wait. Rousey. <laughs> Becky looked more badass in this last five minutes of Raw than Ronda has in her entire career, Jeez. and Although, not just in wrestling. She did kind of look like Ronda Rousey when she got her face kicked off. Yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> there were some similarities, yeah, except she wasn't on the ground crying. A little bit. I, I'm curious. Or unconscious. We, we talked about you know, Ronda's, Ronda's promos before, and she's been really kind of belittling the Becky in her path even more tonight, and I'm wondering. I did like the one uh, call out. Ronda's she, promo tonight can go fuck itself. Really? The the I, I didn't work my ass off for the women the 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 
to find that fight like a girl line. to be that called la- a man. That last part was all that she needed to say. That last yeah. line was the only thing she should have said. Right. Yeah. It was. It but, was good. But talking about millennial men with their wingtips and app, no one knows what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. That, understand that, that was either. an awesome insult thing. Like it, it looked like it sounded like a clip from uh, Hook. Hook. Yeah. You know when uh, Robin Williams and uh, Rufio were going back and forth with the name calling? <laughs> wow. Like, when she was okay, done, I just screamed right. bangerang. I love it. Okay, that's what that was. Yeah. Because I'm sitting here and Larry just goes, bangerang. I'm just like, <laughs> and I just kind of like, all right, cool, man. I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. So, so Larry, you're really looking forward to this Sunday. It's the man versus the pan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> random random comments in the chat room. Alex Miller says watching Lucha two hours pantsless was be- the best two hours spent. <laughs> correct. That is correct. That is entirely correct. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Tina. Tina. Just just watch the last ten minutes of Raw. Yeah. That's no. You, you don't even need the last ten minutes. The last seven maybe. Yes. Okay. Well, um, I mean, just to see how we got there. Amazing. I like it. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um. And, and and talking about pantless lucha underground is not uh, a spoiler. That's an inevitable conclusion. Conclusion. That's. I mean, we. I, I think that was a preemptive warning. It's not a conclusion. Okay. It's a recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a requirement. Well, here's the problem. I usually watch lucha here in the office with this giant window to the street. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. And the show doesn't end with you pantsless. It. You should be starting pantsless before you start the show. Oh, okay. That's what he's getting All right. at. All right. Anyways. Holy shit! So that was great. I, I, you know, it was. Um, I was a little confused. Like, I love even but the commentators. Like, why did it, we even it, have it, the match? Yeah, it's yep. really sad because, like, you know, this just means Ronda's destroying Becky at the pay per view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's very, very unfortunate. It, well, I don't think she's just destroying hey. her. She's got the arm injury. There's something more to play with there. You know, we there could be a surprise. There could be a there, surprise. There could or be. Or there a, could be a non-finish, or which there, would be even worse. Or also, it's title versus. It's not even title versus title. No, it's, it's not. just not, a match. Yeah. Like, yeah. None of there none are of these matches really mean anything. The only they, title they on the line is the crew. Cruiserweights this weekend, and Larry. Yeah, just just like uh, Larry so had a really good point. Point. Larry, Larry had a really good point about how War Games is the night before. Yeah, they put, with a lot on the line. They put War Games before the most boring pay per view that WWE puts out in the year of out of the top out of the main big four. Maybe the most non consequential pay per view of the year. Well, all right, the, there was there is something of consequence. What? Hmm. One thing. One thing. Um, it, it's because Sorg didn't see the first hour. Basically, if Team Raw beats Team SmackDown, the traditional five on five. For the men's then, or women's? Uh, then Stephanie said Braun gets anything he wants, basically. Yeah, but he just wanted a title shot. That's well, nothing. He also, no, but he, he, wants, he wants Baron Corbin. He wants Brock Lesnar. He wants a title shot. And he wants to pick stipulations. So... That could have something of consequence, mm-hmm. but I don't think man it's setting us up for roadblock. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> I know we get like probably TLC or something, right? But no, no, but we Brock's don't. not wrestling at TLC. No. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> That's gonna be a Royal Rumble. <laughs> Brock's not wrestling again until January, and maybe then. Well, that, well, that one's in in a ball field in Phoenix. Like that's going to be a big show. It's an indoor ball. It's going to happen. If, <laughs> way to downplay the ball field. It is. It's, it's indoors. In, it is. They have a, they have air conditioning. It's like a sports center. It's just like you know. Yeah, it's like Sky Dome. Yeah. 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 In Toronto. Yeah. Hmm. And you know who's going to be doing a run in? Hmm. Mrs. N- Mr. Nikki Bella. Mr. Nikki Bella. Yeah, Phoenix. That's their hometown. Oh, John Cena's gonna I, run in. And I really win. doubt it. No, it's possible. He's it's gonna valid. be promoting Bumblebee at that no, point. No, he'll be post Bumblebee. Bumblebee's around Christmas. No, then it's pre Bumblebee. What? Wait, are we talking? No, I thought we were talking about the Rumble. Oh, Was Seth and Dean Phoenix. on the show tonight? Yeah, were Seth and Dean on the show? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they were. Were they? Um, okay. 
Uh, so Seth came out. He's like, I want answers, Ambrose. And did he yeah. get them? That, that's my Seth Rollins. Um, Dean said, base, Dean came on the Titan Tron looking like Grand Theft Ambrose. Like he was sitting on a hot rod next to a flaming barrel. <laughs> so he was I'm Nicholas. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is, wait, it, hold on. is it the same barrel in the same in the same alleyway where Slick found Akeem? You just described Nicholas Cage from Ghost Rider. No, um, I think Bobby said in, in, on Twitter that Dean Ambrose was trying to recreate all of the bonus stages from Street Fighter Two. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but basically, uh, we actually finally got a reason. Okay. For, uh, okay. Dean, and he said that he was stronger when he was away from the shield, even though he originally thought he'd be stronger with the shield. So basically, Roman and Seth held him back. Okay. So it's basically exactly what Z the lies that Ziggler and McIntyre fed him. Right. So right. how bullshit. do we feel about Drew McIntyre being Drew McIntyre? I approve. Um, without a main title to fight for, it doesn't fucking matter. I also agree, but mm, okay, I don't know. okay. But yeah, what? I mean, you know what? No, that's I, the thing. Like they're trying to do all this stuff, but there's no title to go it for. It is, it, it is a. I don't want to say adequate because it's not, but it, it's somewhat of a distraction from the fact that there's no title to fight for. If that makes yeah, sense. But, you know what I mean? We had we had a year of this. Of what? No. Uh, oh, well, you didn't because you didn't watch Raw. <laughs> but, but we've had, a, like, whenever Brock Lesnar holds the belt, like, Raw opened with Braun Strowman interrupting a battle royal. And by interrupting, I mean destroying everybody in the battle royal. Then he sat down in the ring and Stephanie said, Ron, you're not taking this show hostage. And I said out loud, yeah, that's Brock Lesnar's job. But... They can push Drew McIntyre. Yeah, sure, that's fine. That's great. They can push Finn Balor. But, like, they can't even fight for the secondary title now mm -hmm. because that's just going to be Seth versus Dean. Mm -hmm. So all of these are for no point. They're all arguing that they're the best on the show. We can't. We can't when, have a story. We can't have a story around like like you know. No, but, but Elias the, story calling... is, the story is that they're the best on the show. When they're not even third best, they're fighting for third best because the best person. Wait, is the European the champion. titles back? The second best is the mid card champion. Right, right. They're fighting for third best. But it, it's it's a making a point to get. I'm not going to get into semantics of this. I uh, but okay. So uh, I let's talk about Elias and uh, Child Protective Services. Um, <laughs> That was, uh, I, was I, I took a bathroom for what break it was. during that. You t yeah, <laughs> Larry missed like the best part of it. I, I didn't come um, back until he they were decimated after the match. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but but I mean the biggest thing the biggest thing Mike is uh, Lashley has glasses now. And likes Yay. The, and likes what? Yay! Oh, I thought you said something else. Um, Lashley is the most fucking. But he shows White his butt. Baby face I've ever seen in my life. But he shows his butt. Whoop de doo. It's Leo's favorite part. <laughs> what is, what is happening right here? I don't. If, if if these things didn't have Elias, I'd be doing anything else. And and Elias, he was bordering on telling, like doing bad WWE comedy. Uh... He was bordering on it because WWE does not do comedy well. Okay. They do not, and if we're going this way, it's gonna get old real fast. Um, I I'm hoping it's the height of the hey, why is this twelve year old boy in the uh, in the ring? Um, but, because like, I I don't think you can go with with any further than they did tonight. <laughs> you know what, you know what they're leading to, right? Hmm. It's gonna be a tag match, Leo and um, Bobby versus Elias and Nicholas. And Nicholas, see, I was wondering about that. I was like, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna, yep. he's gonna get into it with Bobby, and then Leo's gonna get involved, and he's like, well, I need a comparable person to back me up, and here comes Hornswoggle. No, 
Nope. He, he was in a band at one point. Yeah, but Nicholas is a tag team champ. He's that is still true. Undefeated. You're, you're not wrong. Mm-hmm. You're he not is wrong. still undefeated. And, well, it's past the summer <laughs> break. Maybe we can get him over. Is TLC nope. over the Christmas break? Uh, I believe so. TLC's right before Christmas. Oh, um, well, maybe you can People, extend he it. Might be, he might be can happen. But it's on a weekend. There you go. There you well, go. Oh, it's also a school night, so maybe uh, not. Well, you know, maybe you can get a, 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 a note or something. Yeah, but uh, can we talk about how terrible Raw's tag team division is? Um, it's, uh, like I will say, tag team champions weren't even moments. I go, go, go on, Larry. That moonsault ne- neck breaker yeah. was the craziest thing I've seen all year. <laughs> really? And you watch New Japan? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That was awesome. <laughs> Tina's saying Junior is taller than Leo. <laughs> yep. Um. I, 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 so that we got. Where were they being called? Glorious. I don't know what they're called. I don't even no, care. They, Gable, they do not have a name. Okay. Gable and Rude went when it they, they're they're leading. But also, I did like the entirety of uh, Lucha House Party just like ganging up on on Connor was an interesting visual for me. Um. Well, no, it had its moments, but also you look at it, it was like, ooh, like none of these guys are New Day and the Usos. Yeah, like, like at all. and, Not even and the captains of the tag team are the ones who have been the tag team for the least amount of time. Yeah, yeah. So a little weird there. Like I feel like these teams are highly lopsided for this for the Survivor Series. It's like, like they want for, SmackDown to win one. <laughs> yeah, almost, right? Because it seems I like, can't like I was trying to think of the other teams that could join the SmackDown side. Yeah, yeah. They have Sanity, whatever version of Sanity is going to show up. And um, you have the Colognes. Mm-hmm. Really? They're still employed? Mm-hmm. Sh- sure. And I can't think of anyone else. Um, what about um, oh, the bar? Sunday is broken up. Ty well, Dillinger well, The bar is champion, so they're they're on the champion versus champion match. Oh, yeah, that's a thing? Rusev Day is yeah. broken up. Ty Dillinger is injured. Who are so the tag team champions for Raw? Oh, the Good Brothers. Really? Good for them. But no, but I mean, but they're literally the only teams. They it's also not haven't like, been around in forever. That's true. I like haven't seen them pushed. since I started watching wrestling yeah. again. Yeah, that's that's right. And it's all for the pre-show anyway, so it's not even official part Wait, of the Wait, the pay-per-view. tag team thing is the pre-show? Tag team's yeah. always the pre-show. But the survive. Okay. Yep. No, this is exactly, this is literally a carbon copy of the Survivor Series from last year, right down to the WWE Champion versus the Universal <laughs> Champion being the yeah, exact same match. Yeah, it is. It's almost like they have a formula for their shows. No, it's almost like they just, they wrote the booking for Survivor Series last year in Sharpie, and they're like, well, we could either buy a new whiteboard and create, come up with something new, or let's just keep it. They just yeah. take a post-it note and put an eight instead of a set over the seven. Yeah, exactly. They'll do. They'll 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 fix it up when they do the uh, the the greatest Survivor series. Uh, Mad Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? That last Becky Lynch segment, and that's it. Oh, uh, Larry, how about you? Um, I'll go. Fifteen. Do 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 do. I'll say fifteen. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, was the last, the last segment was watchable or enjoyable? Um, I oh yeah, yeah, you gotta specify. Uh, but, but the watchable is the question usually. I know, but is watch by watchable? Do you mean to, that I enjoyed or well, I mean, that just, I just like, physically? Watched? Yeah, I didn't feel like I wasted my time. Well, watching I mean, oh, technically, 15. all 15. three hours yeah, is watchable, as in I can view it with my eyes. Yeah, <laughs> fifteen. Yeah, I'm going with fifteen. <laughs> Tina's saying that, that Survivor Series wasn't supposed to be Raw versus SmackDown this year. No, it wasn't. Roman screwed everything up. What? Yeah. God, he's Roman, the reason. Why'd we, you have to get the... leukemia? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you say it like that. Well, no, no. Um, I believe it was a mixture of Roman, uh, what happened with Roman, and with a certain person not going to a certain place to become a certain thing. Oh. Ba ba da ba. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, Pretty sure boy. that was the, because then technically you would have had someone else go there, and then we could have had a different match for the WWE Championship, maybe like a triple threat match, like it was probably supposed to be and probably will be at TLC. <laughs> well, you know, you there know, were a lot of variables. Fun. I'm still trying to fill. Uh, in. I'm going a good 
forty of the two hours I watched, I'm going a good forty five minutes. Wow, that's still a lot. <laughs> you thought that's this you thought this week was better lot. than last week? For what I saw, yeah. But that Becky Lynch segment wasn't ten minutes long. What? <laughs> No. So what else? no, but I like I like the Elias stuff. Okay, I didn't um, see that, so that's fair. All right, that I, I like good. the Elias opening segment, but the match was. I guess we didn't stick around long enough for the Brock Lesnar thing because our our feed was cutting out. Oh yeah, we did. We did. Oh, lose. Right, yeah, we're we're on, some we app need... problems. Brock Lesnar, um, pretty sure he was very anti-Semitic. <laughs> well, what? He, he, that's nothing new for Brock what he do. Um, so yeah, okay. So Brock came out and Heyman came out and they're like, oh, AJ Styles is going to die. Blah, 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 blah. You know, all that stuff. Uh, Jinder Mahal comes out. Yeah, he threw and a Jinder's- sing at him. Jinder Mahal, yes. Yeah. Um, He says this time last year he was training for the greatest match that never happened, WWE champion Jinder Mahal versus Universal champion Brock Lesnar. Right. Um, But... Because Jinder's on Raw now, he's here to help Brock get his mind right. So he tried to teach Brock his mantra. And Paul and Paul was like, no, we're not sticking around for this. And he was like, Brock, you want to stick around for this? He's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, a mantra. You're Jewish. You should hear it. What? What? Yep. Yep. No one knows. What? What does no that even mean? Knows. I'm not sure if if Brock confused it for matzah. I think that might have been it. <laughs> that was probably what it was. Yeah, I don't or think bar mitzvah. I, I I don't think he was anti-Semitic. I think he was just culturally confused. Or um, you can be both. Oh, okay, <laughs> really. Or th- right. he found out that they want to have him do more talking, so he just picked the best way for them never to give him a mic again. But, <laughs> um, but also, uh, pray for the thing, brothers. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Pray for the sing, bro. That's, what, that's where the feed went back is where he threw a sing over the top rope at Jinder. <laughs> no, no, even before that, the the first German suplex I did on, I think it was Sunil, motherfucker landed on right on his head. Oh, are both of them back? No. No, no, the, the other go- one landed properly for a German suplex. Okay. It was, it was the but yes, they are, they are both back. Okay. Well, they but were was, both back. <laughs> they were back this it, week. It was <laughs> terrifying. We'll yeah. Yeah. It looked like the Randy Orton tossed through the announce table. <laughs> Was there a look over the shoulder? Ooh. No, Brock doesn't care. <laughs> oh, no, Brock does not care. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, guys. Uh, I'm getting from Becky the- Lynch is God. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Wheels is saying Elias segment and Becky segment. That's it. Fair. Yep. And, yeah. Becky Lynch is God. It's fair. Yes. Man, I can't wait to see what she looks like tomorrow after. And oh. also, I want to know how she got that. Yeah, because we're watching the the the. the I'm gonna watch it. The back, fight. Cause... I don't think we got caught on camera because she. I just... think it, I think it was an accident. It was an accident. It was for sure an accident. Oh no, no, like like I think I think um, Charlotte actually accidentally bumped into her. Mm. Well, no, because she was rolling around on the ground after that. Like, well, she was like she something like, happened. I saw after Charlotte, after Charlotte bumped right. into her, she was I, like I, fighting I with Alicia Fox. I will use my intrepid reporter skills, and I will report back tomorrow night on the Mayhem show. Tomorrow night, nine p.m. We will be live once again for the Wrestling Mayhem show. We're working on a guest. Yes, yes, yes. We're working on a guest with the one we were talking about before. No, I know. I was just the way you said that. Yeah, yeah. we're we're. I I don't I didn't read the 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 DMs I I'm well, we're gonna we're gonna slide in somebody's DMs and see if we can have a, a conversation tomorrow. Otherwise, maybe maybe Mad Mike and I will just talk about both of us uh, uh being at shows with David Arquette in uh, separate guys, states. Guys, spoiler alert! Tomorrow night, I'm gonna talk a lot about Phoenix versus Kenny Omega. Oh, I I will try and watch that. I uh, you I, should. It was, what was it? What was it called? It was. Should I just look up Phoenix? Uh, just Kenny Omega look up Phoenix versus Kenny Omega because okay. it's the only time they've ever wrestled. Yeah, that's never <laughs> happened before. Yeah. God, there's so much good wrestling this weekend, guys. I was at three separate shows. 
uh, in some fashion. Uh, and it was, it was real good. Real, real good, guys. It's, it's, this is a good time. Guys, thank you so much for joining us in the chat room. What's up, Dave Potter? He was at the podcast coffee on uh, Saturday at Mr. Small's Cafe. With Tina Wheels, Alex Miller, and everybody else all over the country. Mayhem Nation is strong. Thank you so much for joining us on this Monday night. We will see you next time for Larry and Mad Mike. Keep it raw. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.